The other day, I saw an extremely weird situation happening on Twitter, where upset Twitter police are going after Mudahar. And despite seeing this originally, I hadn't planned on making a video on it, but two days ago, the situation with voice actress Christina V happened. And there's some similarities with this situation in that one, so I've decided to talk about this after all. So here's the situation. It all begins with this tweet from a Twitter cop named JJ who said, Muta when it's time to tweet about Hassan, versus Muta when it's time to tweet about Palestine. JJ had got over 10,000 likes on their tweet. And Muta's response gets over 100,000 likes, as you can see, where he says, Yeah, let me help sort out the situation personally. And he memes around posting a <laughs> Discord image of him with Israel and Palestine, yeah, sorting it out personally on Discord. As for JJ's tweet, it's just a ridiculous tweet for a lot of reasons. Let's take a look at the images real quick, too. So, according to this tweet, JJ apparently wants Muta to talk about Palestine, the situation over there involving massive loss of life and armed conflict, you know, and he'd want him to be like smiling gleefully while he does it, according to this tweet. This is exactly why you shouldn't let Twitter and or politics melt your mind. Because if you do, if your mind becomes mush, you're going to end up tweeting like JJ. Muta then adding a more serious response to his tweet, where he essentially says, It's a tragic and complex situation that he hopes can come to an end, and that nobody likes seeing the loss of life. Further adding that he'd state the same thing if asked on stream, and then advising JJ to write to his MP if he seriously wants to see change. One of the top responses to Muta, this one from Jack, reads, I can't be the only one that's fine with this take. Tweeting isn't going to do anything. Talk to your legislators, maybe. However, over on JJ's tweet, he would essentially double down. Someone saying one relates to Muta's work, one doesn't, with JJ saying, then he's a coward. However, this response to JJ gets over 8,400 likes, reading, Log off and talk to people. And while a few people are supporting JJ's take in the responses, most people seem to be mocking him. Twitter cops like JJ really come off like they don't actually have a genuine concern for the conflicts that they tweet about. Instead, they seem more concerned with using those conflicts for Twitter clout. And trying to use armed conflict and the associated loss of life for Twitter clout is surely a terrible look. Anyways, that's the situation, that's my opinion, and consider letting me know what you think about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this segment, also consider liking and or subscribing. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.